Pro Tools Sync X is a comprehensive synchronization peripheral and master clock, which provides precision timing for critical music and post-production applications. It can serve as the master clock for a music recording studio or generate a central frame edge reference for a re-recording stage. Whether clocking to external sources or generating them internally, Sync X offers tremendous flexibility for various clock, video reference and positional synchronization formats. Within Pro Tools, access the setup menu, then peripherals to locate the synchronization tab. Tick Enable Sync Device to detect and enable Sync X for use with Pro Tools. Parameters displayed within this window include the current device firmware version, LTC output levels, biface settings, and display options for the front panel. Let's move over to the session setup window in Pro Tools, where the majority of the parameters for configuring the Sync X device can be found. First, click the triangle next to the Sync X setup and external offsets to expose the parameters for this device. The panel is subdivided into three sections with clock reference near the top, video reference settings in the middle, and positional reference near the bottom of the window. For applications requiring video frame edge alignment using an external reference generator, first determine whether you'll be using video ref for just the frame edge reference or also as the sample clock. Sync X communicates via the Digi Serial port and provides Pro Tools with individual frame boundaries used to align the audio samples to. This ensures that even over the longest playbacks, audio and video will maintain perfect gear locked synchronization. If video reference is being used for both clock and frame edge reference, simply select video reference from the source pop-up under the clock reference. Post-production workflows involving multiple source and recorder workstations, it is common practice to distribute work clock as the sample clock reference for all systems and then add video reference to ensure frame edge alignment between all the workstations. For this configuration, start by selecting word clock from the source pop-up found in the clock ref section. Whenever the clock ref is not set to internal, external is chosen by default for the source pop-up in the video ref section. Use the format pop-up to designate the required frame rate and format being used for the incoming video ref signal. SyncX includes the ability to automatically detect the format and frame rate for the incoming video ref signal. To snap to the incoming signal settings, simply choose Auto Detect Format from the pop-up menu. Make sure to adjust the time code rate field found in the format panel to match the detected video frame rate. SyncX can be configured to serve as the master video reference generator for a post-production environment. Start by selecting Internal from the clock reference pop-up. By default, Internal is selected for the video ref source selection. Use the format menu to select the required frame rate and format based on your project requirements. SyncX has the ability to generate reference for all standard SD and HD formats, with the exception of 1080p 50, 59.94 and 60. However, these formats can be locked to from an external ref source. A clock ref setting of internal could also be used for applications involving VarySpeed, which can be used simultaneously while SyncX is generating video ref. VarySpeed allows the fine-tuning of the pitch and speed of the sample clock feeding Pro Tools, in addition to any other externally clocked devices. Detailed visual feedback, including the lock state of the clock and video ref, plus the sample clock rate, are depicted using color-coded LEDs in the session setup window, synchronization toolbar, and also directly on the front panel of the SyncX device. For positional reference, SyncX is capable of locking to LTC, biphase, or serial timecode. While actively generating video reference, SyncX can simultaneously both output LTC and MIDI timecode. Simply light up the LTC or MTC buttons on the synchronization toolbar to output these formats. The timecode field within the format panel displays either the incoming positional timecode when locking SyncX to an external source or the current timecode being generated.